Senator meets officials in targeted asset seizure at home while he claims innocence and immunity. In an escalation of legal woes, Senator Uppocket suffers a barrage of asset seizures, totaling $691 million. Amidst claims of innocence and legal immunity, officials conducted a detailed search at his Bangkok residence on Thursday. Further assets of a sitting Thai senator were seized on Thursday by the Secretary General of the Narcotics Control Board, NCB, to the value of 409 million following a recent seizure of 282 million. The center of these seizures on Thursday was at the residence of Senator Apakit Pacharyang Kun in Bangkok where officials distinguished between inherited wealth and potential seizure targets that may be linked to crime. It comes as the sitting senator continues to vehemently insist on his innocence of any potential criminal charges while also maintaining that he holds legal immunity from prosecution. Senator Upakit Pacharyankun at his residence in Bangkok on November 30, 2023, during an asset seizure operation led by Police Lt. Gen. Panur at Lakboon of the Narcotics Control Board, NCB. In said left, rang Simon Rome, addressing the House of Representatives this year, where he raised the issue. In a significant move against high-level potential drug-related activities, the Narcotics Control Board NCB, executed a thorough search of Senator Uppocket's residence on November 30, 2023. The operation was led by Police Lt. Gen. Panur at Lakboon, the Assistant Police Commander and Acting Secretary General of the NCB. This is linked to a probe into the Senator's alleged involvement in a drug network with ties to big business in Myanmar and international drug trafficking. The Morning Raid conducted opposite Cham Sudaram Temple in the Nakhon Chai Si Road subdistrict of Dusit District in Bangkok, saw the confiscation of assets totaling a staggering 409 million belonging to the senator. Luxury cars and valuable possessions seized in Bangkok while Senator Uppocket offered full cooperation to the anti-narcotics agency. These assets included land, luxury cars, including a Bentley, and various possessions suspected of possibly being linked to drug-related activities. Senator Uppocket continues to maintain his innocence despite the high-profile arrest of his son-in-law in a controversial series of police raids in 2022. The NCB's decision to freeze assets and initiate the search was based on several orders issued since November 17, targeting bank accounts, and later, on November 21, concerning land. The most recent order, dated November 29, authorized the temporary seizure and freezing of assets for investigation. The assets, as claimed by Senator Uppocket, had been documented with the National Anti-Corruption Commission, NACC, as part of his duties as a member of Thailand's upper house which he was appointed to in 2019. Police Lt. Gen. Panurit explained that the search was conducted under the Narcotics Code, Section 68, Paragraph 2, and Section 78. The NCB Secretary General emphasized that the Senator's cooperation was essential and highlighted the authority granted to him to order asset seizure and attachment under the given circumstances. Officials of the Narcotics Control Board, NCB, acted after receiving a letter suggesting the sitting senator may face criminal charges in due course. The catalyst for this action was a letter to the anti-corruption agency suggesting that Senator Uppocket may be facing charges of conspiracy and support related to drug offenses, sent to the agency on November 2. In response, the investigating officer, having received a letter confirming the potential drug-related charges, triggered the need for asset identification and seizure. Senator Uppocket provided an account of his assets to the NCB, which guided the authorities in distinguishing between inherited properties and those which may be potentially linked to drug-related activities. Notably, the NCB Secretary General shed light on various assets seized, including cars, watches, guns, and properties across Bangkok, Riyong, and Nakhon Patom. The seized assets, with an estimated value of 409 million were subjected to temporary confiscation for further investigation. Controversial senator was the target of a Metropolitan Police Bureau police operation which arrested a former business associate and son-in-law in 2022. Senator Uppocket, referred to as Senator Songa in 2022, is no stranger to controversy. The NCB had previously seized his assets twice, with the most recent seizure involving 29 plots of land valued at over 282 million. This seizure was attributed to the senator's alleged connection to drug trafficking in Burma. This cryptic reference was a name attributed to the Thai senator in 2022 when the Royal Thai Police Association came out to support a senior officer who applied for and was granted a warrant for the arrest of the senator following the series of shocking raids in Bangkok and other arrests which saw Dr. Tan Min Lot, a leading businessman in Myanmar and close to the family of Burma's junta leader General Min Ong Lime detained and later charged. 
Dr. Tan Milad is a former business associate of Senator Uppocket although the senator insists their business dealings ended before he became a senator in 2019. The raids were a response to former Thai Prime Minister General Prit Chan Ocha who at that time urged police and drug suppression agencies to target bigger fish in the drug distribution cartels devastating Thai society. Following the 2022 raids, up to 200 million in assets were seized by police. Police officer moved off case and faced disciplinary action after he sought and obtained a warrant allegedly against Senator Uppocket which was revoked. The officer who led the breakthrough September 2022 police raids, Police Lt. Col. Manapong Wangpingwat of the Metropolitan Police Bureau, was subsequently transferred from the case along with his team and faced internal disciplinary action after a warrant was granted by the criminal court on October 3, 2022 but was subsequently revoked by higher authorities sparking a clash between investigators and key court officials. This later led to defamation proceedings being served on House of Representatives Firebrand MP Rank Simon Rome after he raised the controversy in Parliament while a new police team and prosecutors with the Office of the Attorney General, OAG, have subsequently moved forward against Senator Uppocket by summons and discussions with the case slowly progressing as the upper house member has claimed privilege while also suggesting that his legitimate activities have been unfairly mixed up with criminal behavior of other parties. 200 million in assets seized and frozen after police raids in Bangkok in September linked with Myanmar's Tan Min Lot and Senator's son-on-law. Attorney General to have the final say on prosecution in court for money laundering of Senator Uppocket. Also charged and arrested in the September 2022 raids was the American son-in-law of Senator Uppocket, 38-year-old Mr. Dean Young Gulchula, the husband of the senator's daughter Adisara. Police and prosecutors have pursued a case against him for money laundering and allegations of transnational crime which he has fought doggedly. In the ongoing saga, Senator Uppocket has faced allegations of money laundering and involvement in a transnational criminal organization. Despite the case being progressed for prosecution, the senator has invoked constitutional privileges, leading to multiple delays in the legal proceedings. The NCB's latest action underscores the persistence of the investigation. Senator Uppocket whose political journey involved being appointed by the National Council for Peace and Order, NCPO, and accusations of affiliation with major Burmese businessman and alleged drug dealer Dr. Tan Min Lot, has filed defamation lawsuits against prominent figures. These include MP Rang Simon Rome, hosts of the TV program Inside Thailand, and Achurai Ron Gratana Fong, the president of the Crime Victims Assistance Club. At one point, in the run-up to the May 14 general election in Thailand, the United Thai Nation, Ruam Thai Sang Chart, party attacked Mr. Rang Simon Rome for highlighting that the party's headquarters was situated at a property in Bangkok's Swa area owned by the embattled senator. Story highlights the complex nature of Thailand's upper echelons but also the determination of some police officers and prosecutors to pursue a case. The case has brought attention to the complexities of justice processes in Thailand's legal system, with allegations of attempts to revoke arrest warrants and pressure on legal proceedings. The involvement of high-ranking executives and transfers of police officers have raised questions about the impartiality of the investigation. At the same time, investigators remain steadfast in their pursuit of justice, while a staunch legal defense initiated by Senator Uppocket underscores the challenges facing prosecutors where there is a political dynamic or where the subject of the investigation has extensive legitimate business interests. The upper house member claims to be an innocent party being unfairly targeted for his past business associations. Legal proceedings against Senator Uppocket are due before the court in the coming months stemming from a decision by prosecutors in May this year to proceed against the upper house member although the matter is still being considered carefully by the Office of the Attorney General, OAG. The senator still, however, as well as protesting his innocence and clarifying his position, strongly asserts that he retains immunity from prosecution under Thai law with an October 9th debate and vote of the Senate specifically upholding his status in a vote where 174 senators voted to seven in opposition, to underline it. The evolving narrative emphasizes the importance of transparency, accountability, and the need for effective measures to combat corruption and criminal networks in Thailand while also upholding the individual's right to due process in a country where respect for authority and politeness are laudable hallmark attributes which are often abused.